No, because we talk about woman and the last video, yes? Mm-hmm. And the video before that, fire coach and all sorts of something. No, we have to talk about racism. You hear what's going on in America? Yeah, man, like the whole country's on fire. As it should be, but we talk yeah. about that another time. But no, no, I'm here. Because I'm here, I have to ask how, just how racist are you? Not you, not you, but yeah, yeah. when I talk to people, and they are like, yeah, like Jamaican, blah, blah, blah. They don't like certain African dude, but they like me. Fuck all that you with that Yeah. Bullshit. You cannot eat Africans, but love Jamaicans. That just, just don't compare, isn't it? You, you can't really it's cherry pick bullshit. that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's either you love us or you don't. Isn't it? But when I ask them point blank, like I will ask you, you're a racist. They say, no, I'm not racist. I said, shut the fuck up. You're trying, you're, you're trying to gloss over everything. Yeah, yeah. I think, in my belief, I think everybody's a little bit racist. Yeah, yeah I think every, so too. Everybody has a little, has a little, um, has a little thing about them that they have some pref, they show preference towards certain. People. Yeah, yeah. If it's not racism, it's, it, you show a lot of preference towards a certain group more than others. Yeah, yeah. And everybody does that. Well, yeah, it's natural. Like life, to be able to discriminate, like. Apart from racism, but just discrimination in general, like it's important to be able to discriminate on based on your own opinion, you know, mm -hmm. like, and then you have like the limit at which point it gets racist, I think, at least in my opinion, like um, when I was like six years old, like we used to sing uh, at my elementary school, like when white kids or black kids or Moroccan or whatever mm. for that matter yeah. uh, had their birthday they would get like the happy birthday song you know yeah but like Asian kids they would get hang hunky punky Shanghai <laughs> I have no idea what that is what yeah it's like it's like a racist, racist song um, that should supposed to mean happy birthday in Chinese but most of the kids weren't even fucking Chinese and they, they don't have like the the, the uh, capacities to, to, say, to yeah, yeah. really know what's going on now when they're older like 16 or something they know so what the fuck did they sing to me when <laughs> i was kid no so like there's a certain party and i can say for sure like all my teachers they didn't even know that too like they didn't notice you know so there's like a, a certain limit of like systemic or national racism that just occurs because of people's ignorance but Idiot. then you've got like um, because I definitely make racist jokes. Everybody makes a racist joke. It's easy as fuck, you know, to, to make that like a racist it. joke. But there's a certain limit to which point, um, like, how serious are you when you're joking? Because I know people that like make a racist joke and people laugh and it's, it's over. And those people won't won't look badly at like black people or chinese people or whatever but you mm -hmm. got people who make like a racist joke and they try to shove it on the carpet but they're pretty fucking serious about it you know exactly so, a lot of serious things are said in jest that's not yeah, one you understand exactly. they say it in a joking manner so yeah i don't nobody can run joke with me about racist shit if i say something say it you understand don't laugh at me ha 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 but the thing is, when people say to me, hey, I'm not racist because so and so and so, I say you're talking bullshit. You understand? There's no hate, there's no racism in you, no, no racist bone you have. No, because I have black friends and all that bullshit. Then I would ask him, okay, you, you are what? You are in your 20s, okay? You wake up one Sunday morning from your mama's house and you see me come out of your mama's room. Then what? Then the convert, then the laughing fucking yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You see their face change. I see, oh, exactly. Yeah, you see. So tell me, you are not extremely racist. Yeah, you don't care about yeah, me. Yeah. Especially tell me you don't care about me in certain way. When I turn my back, you go home. I go home. You don't care about me. You're not trying to stop my food. You're not trying to do harm to me. But you would like me to stay the fuck out of your family. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, understand? yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know, that, that's it. Me. I have never spoken to a guy where telling me I'm not racist, blah, 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 but they will 
give me their mama number or their sister number. No. They want me out their family. I should not come in their family. Yes, I mean? Yeah, like, like that. But, but is that racism or is that that preference? That, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Like, it kind of depends. Like, I don't think you can blame people too much if they're just uncomfortable with it because they've been, they, they've been taught. Be, uh, be honest to, to me. To, to be uncomfortable with it, like. But you've got a lot of people like they'll they'll stand by the fact like um, that they they don't want like their daughter to marry like black a guy. black guy or, I know or a Moroccan guy or something like and that's the point where it gets like that then you're just being racist you know like then like you said you should just be honest with yourself because it's easier to yeah, be it's honest a preference. Yeah, because I, I if no... you're being honest and you can talk to a black guy or something about it then at least you'll probably uh, learn something about yourself like most people don't tend to even know what they're actually saying you know they, they, so. they, they, they're saying they, they try to go along just to get along you see me and just be honest with yourself don't try to please me or to lie to yourself because i myself have preference yeah if if we if um maybe not because of, maybe not you because if we go to a reggae festival, you and I, I'm looking for you to do all the technical work, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But if you, if we go and you are not doing technical work, we just go as two friends, and we hear, we, we stand together, and I hear yo, that means a Jamaican across a field. Yeah, I don't know the guy, the Jamaican, but I yeah, hear yeah. the accent and I know it's a Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah. Then maybe you don't see me for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm making a beeline to that Jamaican whom I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, we will say goodbye and part ways and I might never see him again. Yeah, but that's like... But am I racist to thing? leave you a white guy standing and going no. to deal with my Jamaican? No, because no. I would, look, that's just my I would probably do like the same. Like, um, like I'm half Dutch, but I, I've, I'm, I was born in Birmingham in England, you know? And mm. I know that like most of my... Uh, blood Ancestors is related related to Irish people. Mm. So like, if I meet a guy that's either Irish, English, or even Scottish yeah, yeah, yeah. in that matter, it's you always easier. To, yeah. It's always to easier. <laughs> yeah, and but I've met the things with England. England is in, is is a multicultural uh, society, just mm. like the Dutch. So for me, it doesn't matter if it's a black guy or Chinese, like. Like, but if I know they're from the UK, like Scotland, England, or Ireland, it, it's way easier. It's way easier to like uh, keep in contact, and, and it's more interesting that way, you know. So when I when I uh, when I am um, where if I am in the, in Holland and I see a guy, a white guy, it takes me a time to build a a, a, a rapport, a friendship with them. Yeah. But when I see a Jamaican, <laughs> it's like end of discussion. I just go over there and say, "Yo, what?" Happened? Boom. And we spend the entire day chatting and laughing and something. And I yeah. never knew him from nowhere. But we just become friends immediately. Yeah, but that's discrimination is like you, you can't dismiss discrimination in life, right? So when you walk up I, I would say like if you walk up to a guy, you know, oh he's Jamaican, I'm gonna talk to him, like um in a certain way that's discrimination in a positive way because uh, or maybe the opposite of discrimination, like, or you know, like, oh, exactly. fuck, like, he, I know him, we have some common ground, you know, because most of the time, it's about common ground, it's not even about color or anything, I know it's like, it's most important, like, common ground, but it's easier to find common ground for me, as a white guy, to find a common ground with a white guy, because that's a yeah. visual representation, exactly. you know, so... I wouldn't really call that racist if you walk up to a Jamaican guy like yeah oh, I can it's, talk it's to him. It's a win. preference. Yeah, exactly. It's I would much rather talk to a Jamaican at a reggae show or at any festival at all. Yeah, just my preference. It, it would be a different thing if it were, if you would hear like a guy talking Jamaican, you would turn around, you would walk up to him, you would see he was a white guy from Jamaica, you know, maybe he just grew up there or something, and then you would turn back and then you would walk away. That would be racist. Exactly. But. It's love the, for the my problem. culture. But there are Chinese guys who talk Jamaican language just like me. Because they are born in Jamaica. But they are exactly, Chinese. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? So. But, yeah, to, to tell me, there's some guys would be like, oh, I have no racist bone. 
I am just open and I'm loving. Yeah, I like the powder puff girls. I'm like this. I'm so perfect. I'm, no fuck out of here. This bullshit. We all have preference. We all have a little racist inside us. You see me? Exactly. The thing is with black people or with me, I don't, I don't deliberately try to stop your hustle. Yeah. yeah I, it's like I'm working with you and I try to get you fired because yeah, you're a white guy. Yeah. And some will do it to me because I'm a black guy. That's racism. Yeah, That's just fucking one wicked. of the. Th- but it's it's the truth that white people do tend to do that shit way easier than, than black or uh, Asian people would do. And it's like, it's, um, like if you, if you know people from other cultures, it can be hard to like find like the common ground with those people, which you want common ground on, you know, but it's important to like engage those conversations and stuff like that, you know? Mm. To to like, instead of just denying people because you can't find uh, common ground immediately. So think, because you can't com- find common ground, you're gonna put them down because of the way how they visually look. Then then it's get then it gets racist, you know, like most of the time. So it's a never it's it's a never never ending story. Racism will never go away. Yeah, we got the like the the biblical story of uh, the Tower of Babel, right? Mm, with the like, language switch and all. Yeah, and exactly. Like. like, and I truly believe, like, I don't believe like that thing. Those things happen literally, but like the it's Tower of the Tower of Babel, I I see it as like it's happening now. Like, a lot of people are trying to come together, like to mix all cultures into one. Mm. And it simply doesn't work because you have work. like it's too much to opposites work. in in those cultures. It's too much to work. It exactly, work. and then, well, I don't believe in God, but in that sense, God will punish us. Mm. And I believe like you got like a lot of people like turning, uh, leaning to the far right of stuff because of people trying to push like this this uh, completely. Um, What's it called? Mixed culture of everybody and everything. And that simply isn't possible because people are different like that, you know? Mm. But it to, is a, cer- it is. to it a certain is. point, like, um, accept, like, try to accept, like, what other, what other cultures have to offer you because one of the most important thing, most important things that people have to offer each other is their difference in culture. People can learn exactly. a lot from each other in that way, you know? So, but if you try to force it, then I believe it gets there like the Tower of Babel and there will God, be a in a sense, back. There will, will be a pushback, isn't it? Yeah. No. If you try to mix everybody together and radiate them. But I stand by what I said. Everybody have a racist thing inside them. Definitely. Isn't it? Everybody, racist, everybody have this racist bone. Ever. But yeah, it, it, it only affect. it only reach a boiling point when you try to stop somebody else from going forward. Yeah, yeah. When you put it into action. It's like, as I said before, it's like me seeing a nice woman over there and I just look and oh, nice woman and go on. Exactly. Nothing is wrong. But if I try to force myself on her, there's where I pass the line. Yeah, exactly. And you yeah. can stay where you are with your fucking racism and hatred and all that. As long as it don't affect me, fine. You do what you have to do. Yeah, exactly. But, but if I would like walk on the street in the city at night and like a random... 40 year old white guy will walk up to me with a question. I probably have no problem, like no second thought about him. But if, if it was like someone Black of guy. your posture, <laughs> I, I wouldn't avoid it, but I would definitely be more on my guard. Yeah. Simply because it's what yeah, you're, what it's simply what I've been saw. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's, it's important to like uh, be conscientious mm-hmm. about that stuff and be able to set it apart you know like it's a myth, like may- maybe maybe that guy will rob you <laughs> you know but it might also be the white guy that robbed you so yeah the it's what society teaches this is just a myth as i said it will never stop no there's it's never human stop. nature in yeah. that way it is it's, what it is yeah it's human nature to 